Hey guys, this is a Busta Grep associate, and uh, we all know who PewDiePie is. We've we've heard his name, but who's the man behind the mask? I'm here to uh, I have an in, I'm an investigative journalist, and I've done some research into PewDiePie, and what I found is uh rather shocking. Now we all know PewDiePie is from Sweden, but the truth of the matter is that he has uh no Swedish citizenship, nor does he have a uh, citizenship in Britain. So he's actually an illegal immigrant from um Hungary. Now, before we can really understand PewDiePie, we have to look through uh, his entire life. Look at his childhood, his teenage years. So I'm going to take you through a little journey into the life of a, a man that never had anything. Now, when PewDiePie was a boy, uh, about three years old, living in uh, New Schwansteinland, um, he was part of a cult. This cult was actually responsible for the creation of the internet, and um, the troll face was actually based off of uh, a picture of PewDiePie, that was posted so uh, members of the cult could recognize each other on the internet so they knew that it wasn't just like another troll. So PewDiePie is actually responsible for the creation of the troll face. If you've uh, heard of Reganomics, uh, 1973 edition, PewDiePie actually uh, invented that too. When he was a teenager in uh, Belfast, uh, New Jersey, he was um, known to have a uh, strict code. He, w he was once famously quoted, um, walk softly and carry a big stick. But um, later, uh, after getting in a tussle with uh, Frederick Douglas Roosevelt, he um, he stole the quote. And uh, so that's actually PewDiePie's quote, and has been misquoted to this day. He actually joined a band of traveling gypsies at the age of 17, and um, they put a curse on him that would make him uh, homophobic, but gay at the same time. And he would have a never-ending lust for children. Now, this created a lot of problems down later in his life, which you'll hear about in uh, the next section. Now, if you really, really want to understand PewDiePie, you got to put yourself in his shoes. So, you're walking around North Carolina. You've been a slave on a farm for a couple of years now. Um, you've been enslaved because you're uh, a gay man, even though you you hate gay people. And um, you actually you um, dress up as a woman and you murder Harriet Tubman and take her place. Now this is very controversial, a lot of people have different theories about this, but um, yeah, PewDiePie was responsible for the murder of Harriet Tubman, and he tried to uh, go on with the with the uh, Underground Railroad, but it just ended up causing more more trouble than he could handle, and he had to close it down, so. Now the year is 19, uh, 1974, and as you can see, uh, PewDiePie is right there by Adolf Hitler, he's um, he was actually one of Adolf's biggest inspirations next to uh, Mussolini, the uh, fascist dictator of Italy, in creating the Nazi party. And it was actually his idea in the first place, the uh, final solution, so to speak. Um, after the war, because uh, PewDiePie was being tried for war crimes, he um, escaped to Sweden, which at the time um, accepted, it was a very liberal place, they accepted gays, it was the only place in the world. So... He could live there freely without judgment, and he could still judge people. So he, he uh, spent a couple of years hiding there, being hunted by uh, Nazi officials and allies. Then began an interesting stage in his life. He um, started uh, recording and making his own dubstep, and uh, making uh, Minecraft videos. He was known as um, Minecraft Boy 101. He made a couple Let's Plays where he... Uh, Told uh, told people how to find diamonds and tough to get places. He, he's just generally a nice guy, just you know, trying to help people in the Minecraft community until um, he became a hero. You know, everyone who played Minecraft was like, "Oh, it's PewDiePie. He's here to help." You know, like like you're building a house and a, a creeper's coming your way, coming to blow up your house. You're like, "Oh my God! If only PewDiePie were here, and he'd show up on your server and kill the creeper for you." Yeah, he was a real big help. You know, that's where he got a lot of uh, popular support for when he made his YouTube channel. Now, the name PewDiePie is actually a pseudonym. His real name is um, Adolfin uh, Strassenberger Gonschufenlorfer. And um, he used the name Felix because uh, he's still being uh, chased by Nazi officials to this day. Now, the year's 18... Um, I mean, sorry, excuse me. Excuse me, please. 1989, and YouTube is uh, at the peak of its popularity. Um... PewDiePie decides he wants to make a channel 
to show off, uh, you know, kind of get a collective group for uh, his Minecraft server. He's going to recruit, get some people on his Minecraft server. So he made a channel uh, advertising his Minecraft server, and it just took off uh, 2 million views, his first video. It was an insane amount of support for one uh, Minecraft server. Some Someone said he hadn't seen seen something like it since Hunger Games. This is when a, a crucial seed was planted in PewDiePie's mind when he said, what if I could I could teach the world a lesson through YouTube videos about tolerance and respect for gay people who got money for no reason? So what he did, in, uh, he started making a series of videos, one a day, five to 30 minutes long, where you just do something gay. And it attra it fascinated people. They were so, how could someone do this? I thought, and people were just mortified it was just so shocking people had to watch it it was actually uh banned in five different countries because of the uh shocking content and it only uh it would only resurface a couple of years later when people began, began to accept that we're gonna have to live with this guy there's no taking him down now by this time you're probably thinking you know how does how does he get his money because you hear he makes a lot of money on youtube well actually the money started when um well, you've probably heard of the JFK assassination. John F. Kennedy put him in line for the inheritance of the, of the throne of America. And so PewDiePie was really excited for this. But suddenly he put his twin, John F. Kennedy, uh, before him. So PewDiePie had to take him out. He went under the pseudonym uh, Lee Harvey Oswald and put some, some poor guy uh, as the scapegoat. And now, with uh, all the money in America, he could finally open up a YouTube channel that could be open to everyone. And people just started coming in flocks to his YouTube channel. Now, the reason he got so popular, there's another reason behind it. YouTube has a specific algorithm. Um, I, I'm going to pop it on the screen for you. Uh, gayness times girth times width times height times age. And if you add all those together, usually you just be normal, except the gayness was just off the charts. So PewDiePie just went skyrocketing, you know. You'd watch a video about cooking apples in a in a pig jar, I don't know. And then PewDiePie would just be all over the suggested video, so you'd be like, man, this must be pretty good. And then he'd just he'd suck you in with that um that glorious glorious little gay dance he did every video. Now, I'm gonna be honest, you're probably thinking, this can't be right. This stuff it doesn't go along with anything I've been hearing. Yeah, you've been lied to. You know how much money PewDiePie makes a year? Well, according to the YouTube algorithm, a popular gamer that has one-tenth his uh, viewing size makes $2 billion a year. So PewDiePie times his 3 billion viewing uh, subscriber size. He should be making a total sum of $70 million a year. Yeah, this is an insane amount. He owns a couple cars. Yeah. So this guy is actually um, head of the CIA and a couple other organizations. He's risen to power. He basically, anything you touch has probably been touched by him before in some way. He's connected to every product that is man-made on this earth. So the only way to take him down is by doing this simple ritual. I'll show you a video of it here in a second. Now you might be thinking, that ritual won't work. That's a bunch of monkey business. No, it has worked before. Uh, Ten people did the ritual while he was live streaming, and someone someone noticed that he started groaning and moaning and saying, um, they're trying to kill me, they're trying to kill me, please stop. And then the ten people were taken out by CIA helicopters an hour later. So if we get a mass gathering and do this, we should be able to um, disintegrate his bones and send him back to hell where he came from. Thank you. This has been a uh, Busta Grep special news edition. I hope I taught you a little bit about yourself, maybe informed you about the world, just, you know, get your general understanding of everything a little more, you know. So, uh, be sure to check out some other Buster Grep videos, like, uh, how to make diamonds in Minecraft, and some other good stuff.